So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I bring you something pretty spectacular. Something a lot of players are definitely overlooking and it's basically a sword which is also a staff. Yes, you heard that right, check this out. <laughs> I mean, what is going on here, people? Oh man, this is going to be some... Well, at the heart of many, many incredible builds, I cannot wait to see. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So, yes, guys, you heard that right. We have a sword here. Just a normal sword. Well, actually, not just a normal sword. It's actually quite decent as well. But it also, guys, it's basically a staff. Because what this does is any, any spell you have equipped... Uh, any, it doesn't matter what it is. You can also you can use them with this sword. Yes, you heard that right. How badass is that? A quick little look at it. It's called the Korean Sorcery Sword. Uh, it's special skills of the Impaling Thrust. Nothing great about that. It scales with strength, dexterity, and intelligence. Obviously, uh, attributes required is 10 strength, 19 dexterity, and 16 of that intelligence. So. We can see this here, one of the Korean royal family's gun stone swords, a smaller piercing sword, very slender blade, formerly used by the Korean knights of old before the full refinement of their sorcerer's combat techniques. This armament functions as a catalyst for glintstone sorcery when executing strong attacks. Absolutely incredible. And again, guys, like I said, it doesn't matter what spell, as long as it's a spell that a staff can use. Guys, it doesn't matter. Put them all on. Swing and chop at the same time, people. And this thing can do it. I mean, that's super unique. I mean, like, I haven't seen anything like this. Absolutely love it. May have to bring you guys a build. Focus around this. Check it out. <laughs> okay, so to actually get this, it's real easy. It's just lying there, waiting for you. Okay, so you need to come to uh, this grace point right here. The High Road Cross, the first one you'll come to after defeating Rolena. Or if you want to take the skip, you can skip Rolena fight altogether and still come around and get this. Now, if you want to see the skip, if you can't beat Rolena or you're not that far yet, but you want to get this weapon, it's as simple as checking out the video linked in my video description. So, we're going to go to the High Road Cross and I'll show you then exactly where this is located. Again, super, super simple to get. You don't have to fight nothing. It's such a great weapon as well in regards to that. So, see where we're at guys we're just gonna actually head this way and come down here so from this grace point guys head northwest jump over this wall it's a bit foggy to be honest come down this way you'll see a bit of water ignore the big guy there and you want to take a left and head down south just this way people and once you get to the end of the water you want to uh, go a little right, you don't want to be going left, you end up in a completely different place. So you want to go this way. And then guys, you'll see, just jump down here. You'll get off your horse, you come this way and you'll see guys, there's a chest on your left hand side. No enemies protecting you or nothing, you open that chest and you get this weapon. It really is that simple. It really is that simple. So you guys want a sword, which also acts as a... Hey staff. Well there we have it guys. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.